Hello, I'm Carrie Wingert from the Institute for Science and Math Education in the University of Washington. This short presentation should give you ways to adapt your curriculum to better align with the next generation science standards. Adapting the curriculum your district already uses is a great way to build teacher expertise and leadership, as well as a stronger understanding of the next generation science standards. One well-known research-based method for adapting science curriculum comes from Brian Reiser and colleagues at Northwestern. In this method, teachers use an anchoring phenomenon, seen in the top right, to guide a driving question and phenomenon-driven questions that anchor students' thinking throughout the unit. Throughout, students use sense-making activities and they add to a model that they and their uh, fellow students hold to make sense. You can read more about this method at stemteachingtools.org. It's tool number five. Working with groups of teachers to adapt curriculum is hard work. Here you can see one teacher using a protocol that we've developed in our three years of partnership with Seattle and Renton Public Schools. To engage in this protocol, we start by having groups of teachers write lesson titles and big ideas on sentence strips. So on the board here, you can effectively see an entire unit sequenced out through the lesson titles and big ideas. This marker board now allows teachers to have a big conversation. Is there anything that seems out of order here for kids' conceptual understanding? Are there lessons here that aren't really relevant to NGSS? When the lessons are on sentence strips, we can move things around, remove things, and scaffold in scientific practices in a way that builds throughout the lesson. This is the protocol we use to support teachers to adapt their curriculum. First, we pass out those sentence strips and copies of the curriculum. And if you don't have access to sentence strips, you can cut 11 by 14 paper so that it makes long pieces of paper as well. It is important to get it up there in public so that teachers can see and refer to the lessons together. We post those strips in order, and then finally we facilitate a discussion. What lesson sequences help your students make the most sense here? What do you typically do when you're teaching? Do you remove certain lessons because they're irrelevant or extraneous to student understanding? And do you add things to gain student interest? Finally, one thing you should always keep in mind is how to support students' identities and out-of-school interests. Teachers and curriculum designers should always think about ways that local expertise can be brought in. Are there local places, local people and experts, or family members that can be brought in to talk about how scientific phenomena matter to them? These are key ways to help students make full sense of their learning. We hope this has helped you think about ways to adapt your curriculum to be more NGSS aligned. Thanks for watching.